Hi folks, it's Teresa from Stringfield Ridge Farm. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a wonderful cleaner that you can put in a spray bottle, a homemade cleaner that smells so good. And it's um, antiseptic and antibacterial and uh, uh, just good for your home, good for you and uh, doesn't have chemicals. So uh, let's make you a cleaner. First off, I'll show you my main ingredient, which is sage. Regular old garden sage, uh, salvia officinalis, uh, is just regular old garden sage that you would use to put in sausage uh, that a lot of people grow in their garden. And uh, this is some I grew in my garden and I've got some hanging to dry, but I'm gonna make a cleaning product with this, probably not all of it, but uh, I'll show you what I got. And it smells so good. You know how sage smells, so good. And uh, so I also took and um, put some of the crushed sage that I had already dried from last year. This is last year's uh, kind of ground up sage uh, that I used as a spice. You could buy this at the store also if you don't have any. Uh, that will be, um, it will still have a lot of the smell and properties. Uh, if you buy it at the grocery store, uh, it'll be a lot more expensive than growing it though. <laughs> and you can order online and get uh, sage, you know, but it will be this ground, um, um, dried ground uh, kind, uh, but this is in white vinegar. So I put this in white vinegar uh, a couple of days ago. I let it sit out on my, on my screened in porch uh, to get warm, to really warm up good and, and pull out those good properties. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna strain this off uh, and put it in our uh, cleaning product. But it's just uh, ground sage in white vinegar. So we will strain that off in a minute when I show you. Our other uh, ingredient is going to be lemon peel. You could also use orange peel. I have done a cleaning video um, on uh, uh, making a cleaning product out of orange peel. And I still do that when I get oranges. I haven't had any oranges in a while. Um, so. I did buy a few lemons and had some peel left, so I'm gonna put that in there. If I had orange, I could use that. You could also use uh, your essential oils. I have sage essential oil, I have orange, I have lemon. You could use some of that. I don't recommend using a whole lot of the essential oils in this uh, because it is oil and it doesn't mix as good with uh, the vinegar and, and uh, and what all we're putting in there. <laughs> and um, so uh, also it will leave a little bit of a, a oily um, film on, on whatever you're cleaning. So I don't really recommend using a whole lot of oils. We may use a few drops. I love tea tree oil and everything cause it is so good. Uh, it's great. This stuff is wonderful. Tea tree oil. I'll put a few drops of that in there. Um, so not much though. I don't like to put a whole lot of oil in this cleaning product. Uh, so I'm going to turn you down here and show you what we're going to do. And, um, anyway, there we go. This is a very natural, organic, um, cleaning product. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do, oh, and I have a glass spray bottle you could use plastic if you want to but with your vinegar and stuff plastic doesn't hold up as well as glass um, you can get glass spray bottles now i did have to replace this top this top is a cheap top because the other top i had i dropped it and it broke and um, this is just a cheap dollar store plastic top that i put on there first we're going to strain off our um, vinegar from our sage. Oh, that smells good. 
so I'm just going to strain some of that off here. I put a whole lot in here. You don't have to use as much material as I did there, as much sage. You do not have to use as much sage as I did. Um, and I need to place to dump this so I can do more. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely don't have to use as much sage as I did, so keep that in mind. I used quite a bit because it was old. It's actually um, sage I dried from last year, and, and you know, I'm just was kind of ready to get rid of it and start more. So there we go. Okay, so there it is. That is our uh, sage vinegar that I steeped. And uh, so then we need, hmm. so then we're gonna need a funnel. I'm gonna use this small funnel. I can't find my big one right away. So, um, so we're gonna go ahead and pour this uh, vinegar, sage vinegar into this. I'm gonna probably spill some because I always do. There's that. All right, we'll get that back out in a minute. Now we're gonna use some of this sage. Now I'm just gonna, uh, now this has sage in it, but I'm gonna put some fresh in there for some extra, you know, extra punch. I'm just gonna break a few pieces off and put in there. There we go, that's probably plenty. Oh, let's put a big one. Let's go ahead and put a big one in there. All right, then we're gonna take our lemon peel, our lemon peel, and we're gonna cut that in little pieces and put that in there. Y'all better quit hurting each other over there. Maud and Medea are over there fighting. They're growing up on me fast. So, let's see. Put, put as much or as little of this as you have. Uh, I don't wanna put too much. Have it clogging up my, a little bit more. Smells so good already. Okay, that's all I'm putting. We'll stick that over there. Okay, now, now you have some sage in your sage vinegar and lemon uh, peel. And uh, we're gonna finish filling that up. Uh, you could also, I'm gonna add a couple of drops of tea tree oil for the um, antibacterial benefits. You could add uh, extra sage or lemon for extra um, uh, for, uh, fragrance, but we're not today. All right, then I'm gonna add just a little bit more vinegar to kind of fill that up some more. <clears throat> On up there about like that. All right, and then we will add I'm gonna add just a little water. I'm not adding a whole lot of water. Now, another thing I wanna do, I'm put these over here so I don't get them wet, cause I'm gonna dry those. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of alcohol. Now, if I had some vodka, I definitely would use vodka, cheap vodka in this. And this is just to preserve it a little bit and make it last a little longer, uh, but um, I'm gonna use my good brandy because that's all I have. I normally would not do that, but I'm gonna add just a splash of this just as a kind of preservative. There we go. All right. Cheap vodka would be much better to use <laughs> than your good brandy, but we didn't have any. There you go, that's all it is to it. Now you just shake that up. Sometimes some of it will separate just a little bit and you may have to shake it a little bit before you clean with it. 
but um, let it sit a few days to let that break down in there. That sage and that lemon will break down in there and really give it a strong, good uh, uh, smell and uh, a more potent uh, um, benefits and properties and all that good stuff. And so there you go. That's all you do. Uh, like I said, when you use it, you may have to shake it a time or two, flip it over a time or two, because it will separate a little bit. But uh, this is so good. It's a great cleaner and it smells so good. So uh, you could add any of these you wanted. If you uh, wanted to add a couple of drops of something for a different uh, smell. I have used orange, like I said, and that's it. Now, uh, if you think you will forget what's in here, label it and the date so you know how long you've had it. So that's it. It's a great cleaner. Smells so good. Your house will smell wonderful. Um, try the orange too. The orange is wonderful. I use it a lot, but I hadn't had many oranges lately. Uh, grandkids haven't been over a whole lot lately, and they always have oranges. So no oranges, no grandkids, no oranges. Use what you got. <laughs> So I decided to take the rest of that sage and make a tincture. So while I'm at it, I just broke up the rest of that sage I had and I'm going to top it off with my brandy and just go ahead and make a sage tincture. It's that simple, y'all. That simple. Now, I should have let that sage dry just a little before I made it, but I'm just not gonna this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and make it. It will add a little moisture into that, but it'll be all right. Shake it up. There you go. I'm making a sage tincture now. And I'm fixing to label it. So I will have Salvia officinalis tincture. <laughs> 